to subscribe for more political videos. Every time people come to us to elect them into government, what they claim is that they have the capacity to do things. Hmm? To rescue the economy, to plan well, to do so many things, simply to make our lives better. As soon as we elect them, they start contracting the job for which we voted for them to private companies usually close to them. So where is that capacity? What is it that a Japa can do which the Ministry of Finance cannot do? What is it that a Japa can do which the whole government machinery of Ghana is unable to do? That's all. You understand? We have the men, we have the men, we have the men. Where are the men? Why? Do we have the men simply to come and take money from government? Or we have the men to use the government machinery to generate wealth to resolve the concrete problems which face our people? I don't know if we're going to discuss the other matter about... Uh, yeah, real. The, the, the American PR firm and so on. Mm. If we are, I'll stop here. Mm. Okay. <laughs> because, because it presents another very interesting dimension okay. of the same case. Okay. Okay. Well, then, Mr. Pan, let me start with you on that one, please. <laughs> is it, US again, PR firm on work during the Kufado campaign and now. Master, again, yes, sir. I'm not going to talk much. Mm. The same thing. We have the men, we have the men. Now we are being told that even the campaign could not be organized by Ghanaians and members of the New Patriotic Party. They had to go and look for Americans to come and run the campaign for them. And these Americans have just issued a statement saying that, oh, quite apart from the fact that they organized aspects of the campaign to bring them to power, even when they won the power, they were still in charge and therefore deserve to be paid that they did so many things about one district, one factory, and so on. So even the implementation of policy is being done by Americans. So why are the men? We have the men, we have the men. Why, why, why are the men? These Americans, are they more qualified than all the distinguished people we have in this country? You want lawyers of repute and ability? Lawyers of repute and ability, you have to go to America. You want journalists of repute and ability, you have to go to America. You want communicators, you go to America. Those communicators, are they better than Audrey Gajekbo? Are they better than Professor Kwame Kakari? Are they better than Bona Are they better than Kabra Bliami here? What is this fixation with foreigners and Americans? What is this fixation? Why can't we pay? I'm sure that if we paid Professor Kwame Kakari and others to form a consortium and paid them 2% of what they were paying to the Americans, they would have done a better job. I'm sure that even if, if we persuaded them and they knew that it was in the national interest, they would not even take any money at all. What is wrong with our leaders? And the justification is that even after the MPP had won power, these Americans were still working for them. Working for them doing what? That Ghanaians cannot do. This is a shame. In any case, the jobs which were given to them after elections, they didn't go through tender. Master, the jobs which was given to this PR firm mm -hmm, after elections, they didn't go through tender. What kind of tender? You see, it's it, it making me sick every day. I, I feel really sick. What is this? I was talking about linking the two, and the principles are the same. You know, last night, somebody sent me a very brilliant analysis on this Ejapa royalties, which had been done by Mr. Fui Chikata, not Chachu Chikata, Mr. Fui Chikata, who has about 40 years experience in dealing with this country's minerals and international transactions and so on. And then another person who joined him in doing the analysis was actually the CEO 
of the Minerals Commission for some time. And their verdict is that this, this whole Ejepa thing is a rip-off. And that this country is going to lose massively. In fact, I'm going to publish this. The analysis of Mr. Fuchikata and this other gentleman whose name I've forgotten. You understand? But what is all this? What is all this? These foreigners we bring in to come and run elections for us and so I thought that the election was a very simple matter. This is the state of Ghana. This is what we can do to improve the state of Ghana. Huh? My opponent's program is not correct and so on. And then we argue and the people of Ghana make a decision. Now we are hiring foreign firms, usually American firms, to come and run the campaigns for us. What is the interest of the Ghanaian people? And indeed, if you look at the agreement signed by I am for Nana Foundation with this USPR group, part of the agreement says that they were being hired to run a dirty campaign. What does a dirty campaign mean? Mm. Dirty campaign. What does it mean? Well... Don't forget to subscribe for more political videos.